Hi, I'm the Rick and Rick Turns. And for today's project, I'm going to be making this rocket ship Christmas ornament. It's quick, doesn't use much in the way of materials, it's easy to make. Hey, that ain't rocket science. Three, two, Remember, nothing one. says Christmas like blasting off of the outer space in a rocket ship made out of scrap. Well, it's not going to take a whole lot of wood uh, for this small ornament. So I'm just going to get a couple of pieces of scrap take a look at those. Okay, that might be a little bit more than I need. This is more in tune with what I was thinking of. A few pieces of scrap is all I need. Obviously, for a very small item like this, uh, you're not going to need much wood. I used uh, the rocket body there is, is about one and a quarter, maybe one and a half inches. The fins right here are no more than three quarters of an inch long and maybe not even that much. So it doesn't take much. I'm going to whack off uh, one end of this, uh, maybe three inches to work on to give me room for tools and so forth. And uh, then I'm going to need another small piece uh, to make the fins of the rocket, or the vertical stabilizers, we might say. This is Paydot. Uh, I believe it's South American, might be Central American, I don't recall right offhand, but it's a beautiful wood because it's got a really nice orange color to it. I've always loved using this just because of the color. I don't need anywhere near this much, obviously. So what I'm going to do is cut off a strip uh, along one side, about an eighth of an inch long, uh, about an eighth of an inch thick. And then I'm going to cut that again to about a quarter, maybe three eighths of an inch wide. I'll cut a couple of small pieces to uh, be the fins of the rocket ship. Only other thing I need is some hanger wire. And as with my other Christmas ornaments, I'm using this product. This is craft wire. Uh, this particular one is named Zebra Wire. Uh, I understand these zebras uh, over in Africa uh, have very good working conditions, and so you shouldn't be worried about the zebras making this wire, so it's, it's good wire to use. And they can use the cells. This is 16 gauge zebra wire, and obviously it's silver colored. Zebra wire is just going to be used to make a little hanger here. And uh, I expect this to be used with another Christmas hanger to hang it farther away from the branch. As you can see here, I've got the loop at the top closed, so by itself it's not going to hang very well. There's not much more to it than that. A little glue, a little finish, and that's going to be the whole thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut my wood down to the general right size, and then we can get started turning. All right, here's my little scrap for the body of the rocket. Put it in there about three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch, and tighten it down. This is a Rikon uh, MIDI lathe, and this is a Nova G3 chuck. Now, it doesn't really matter at this point if this is perfectly centered because I'm going to be bringing it down to round right now. And that will have the effect of centering it, all right. Got the lathe set up to my fastest speed, which is about 3,900. That's uh, perfectly safe for a very small piece like this. And I'm going to be using my one-inch skew. I'm just going to round it down to begin with. That sounds good. Yep. All 
As you can see on my prototype right here, my maximum diameter is only about uh, 5 eighths of an inch. Um, when I started turning this one here, I found that a 1 inch thickness just looked too bulky and too fat. So I took it down even more. And that's what I'm going to do now with this one. I'm going to go ahead and take it down to 5 eighths. And I'm going to be doing that with my tenoning tool. And there we have 5 eighths. I'm going to extend that diameter all the way down. Now that is plenty long enough. As you can see, I put a little dimple right in the end there. Because before I go any further, I'm going to drill a hole for the mounting wire, or rather the hanging wire. Now what I've got here is a sixteenth of an inch bit. I'm going to drill it in a, a half an inch, three quarters of an inch. It really doesn't matter too much uh, how far I drill it. This is going in very smoothly. That's about five eighths. I'm not going to go any deeper. All right, there's the bottom delimited. Should be pretty obvious, but I'm going to take this down to a point. It won't come to a perfect point because of the hole in there. Now remember, these little fins here are going to get glued onto this back piece right here. And uh, pretty much I'm going to keep this slope here straight, rather than a, an ongoing curve all the way around. I'm going to keep it just a straight slant right from the midpoint. Well, actually it's below the midpoint, because that'll make it a lot easier to fit these and to glue them in place. Does that look like a rocket ship to you? No, it looks like a weird bullet. That's okay. It looked like a rocket ship when we put the fins on. That's what makes a rocket ship. Fins. Now, normally I would not do this. Use a skew as a scraper. But in this case, I'd like to get a nice flat surface right there for gluing the fins onto. And I think that will do it. Does that look like a rocket ship? No, it still looks like a bullet. This wood is, is really nice and smooth from the skew work. So I'm going to start with 240 grit and take it on down from there. So I'm going to turn off the video. It's no fun watching somebody sand. It's even less fun being with somebody sanding. And this is the last piece of sandpaper. This is a thousand grit. Probably not really necessary, but what the heck. It's Christmas. Normally with a small wood piece uh, like this, I'd be putting the finish on right now. That ain't going to happen because I had to fear with the glue uh, sticking, I'm afraid. So I'm not going to be putting any finish on until after I've got the uh, vertical stabilizers uh, glued onto the piece. So, time to turn it off. I'll be using a thin blade parting tool. All right, there we have it. Our bullet, I mean our rocket ship, is uh, all turned. I've got my three little blanks here for making the fins. I'll just show you making one of them. There's no need to go through all of them on camera. I'll be gluing this surface right here up against here. So the way I want to shape this is to have a round up here, all the way down to a point here, and that will be obvious 
as to what that looks like when I'm done. You can see here I'm rounding that area right there. And this is pretty much what I want to end up with. Long taper here, short curve here. Fresh off the sander. A little bit of a burr on some of those, so uh, it's got one piece of sandpaper here. I'm just going to put them flat on it and rub them a little bit. Now, glue. Normally I would like to use wood glue, but uh, I don't want to sit here for 30 minutes or so and uh, hold them in place while it dries. So I'm going to use cyanoacrylate glue. And I'm going to glue one in place first and then mark the others. Now all I have to do here is put a little bit of glue right up the top because I'm going to position them so that they're off of the bottom of the rocket ship. I mean, that's pretty much classic rocket chipology, you know. So I just need glue right over the top. And I don't want to be sparse with the glue because I want it to bubble a little bit right around there. So I'm going to glue that one right there. The first one can be anywhere. Well, you don't want to put it up here. That would not look right. Now we're going to come around here I want two more, 60 degrees apart, no, 120 degrees apart. So that would be right there, and right there. I want to center them on this mark, and I want to mark it, I want it to come up right there, which I'm just sighting along the top of this here. All right, so once again, glue. And accelerator. Okay. Look about right. Yeah, well, it's actually not too bad, I guess. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is put a little finish on it. Doesn't need a whole lot. And what I have here is my standard um, friction polish. Put some on here. Yuck. A little more than I expected. Okay. And just dab it on the whole thing. And I give that just a minute to set up. I mean, believe me, it doesn't even take a whole minute. Put a little more on it here. It's not done yet, though. Oh, it's close. Now, got to have the hanger wire. I'm going to cut off about three inches or so of this. Just a very small bit of CA glue on the bottom of this. As I mentioned, this 1 16th inch hole I drilled is just about the right size. It's still a tiny bit loose for 16 gauge wire, but it'll be okay. All right. And wipe that little bit of glue off of there. And let that set for a moment. And now I'm just going to roll it here. I don't need a very big opening there. There we are. There's the wire, so straighten it up a little bit. Now, one last minor detail. The hole of the hanging wire is not in line with the axis, which would make it hang a little bit crooked. So I'm just going to bend this over a little bit. And all I want to do is get the, the hole in that opening in line with the longitudinal axis of the piece. And that looks pretty good. I'm done. This was a pretty simple project. Um, 
the only tricky part is getting the little fins shaped and uh, if you've got a disc sander that's not hard. I think that looks pretty good. I am quite satisfied with it. Um, if you make one of these yourself, well, Merry Christmas. Hope you enjoy it. See you next video.